G'day there. On a roadside near where I live is a plant that is festooned with white waxy material. What on earth is this stuff? Welcome to One Minute Bugs. I'm Dennis Crawford. First the plant. Here is one in flower. It's known as Violet Kunzia and here is a map of where it occurs naturally. When a Kunzia that has this waxy material is in flower, the result is quite spectacular. But let's take a closer look at that waxy material. As you can see, it is made up of various strands and tendrils. But if we move some away, we can reveal the insect underneath which has created it. It's the felted Kunzia scale, Calococcus acacii. Now, you may wonder about that word acacia, as if this material is only found on acacias rather than kunzias. When this insect was first described by William Miles Maskell in 1893, he named it acacia after the plant material that was presented to him that had been misidentified by someone else. And that word is stuck till today, kind of a bit of a historical anomaly, I guess. Maskell is a bit of an entomological legend because he described many scale insects um, from around the world. Um, he lived in New Zealand at the time and um, material was sent to him from all over the globe. Maskell illustrated felted Kunzia scale and described it as being globular. I reckon when you look at this specimen here, it looks a bit more football shaped. That's this kind of football, not that kind of football. But the story doesn't end there. There is another insect which lives within this waxy material. It's a species of thrips, I kid you not. Here it is here on the left, the uh, red colored one is a larva and the darker colored one on the right hand side is an adult. The thrips seem to move amongst the waxy strands without getting stuck. This waxy stuff is really sticky. Here's a shot of me getting my forceps completely stuck. So what is this thrips? I headed for the literature and was able to find the name of this thrips. It is Calococcythrips fuscipennis. The Calococcythrips part of the name immediately tells us that this thrips is associated with the Calococcus felted scale. The paper illustrates the waxy material formed by the scale. The thrips go through their entire life cycle within the waxy strands. It appears this species is totally dependent on the felted Kunzia scale. It is assumed that the thrips is predatory on the eggs or maybe the immature stages of the felted scale. Somehow, some sort of balance is found so that the thrips don't eat themselves out of house and home, literally. These intricate insect stories fascinate me. And if you like them too, please give this video a thumbs up. And for those that are interested, here is a link to the last Bug Basics video, which describes a typical thrips life cycle. Thanks for watching.